Hi, welcome to this tutorial for joelolives.com. Uh, today I will be editing this photo uh, by adding one of my textures to it. I'm going to show you an advanced masking technique and some techniques for editing the appearance of the texture on the fly. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is place a texture onto this photo. I'm going to choose from the file menu in Photoshop and go to place. From there I'll select one of my textures. For this texture uh, placement I'm going to use the Invent Variation Textures. It's from one of my freebie packs. You can download that on joelolis.com. So let's select that and click Place. Okay, Photoshop's going to give you the options to scale this when you use that command. I'm going to go ahead and scale it to the width and height of my image and over here on the left side I know I'm not going to want some of this border color so I'm going to scale that out of the image. I'll click my arrow here in place. So now the texture is in place where I think I'm going to want it. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is select a blending mode how I want the texture to appear over the image and the blending modes are found here on the layers palette. And for this I'm going to select soft light. Uh, that will add some contrast to the image and it will let the textured portions of the image shine through, uh, let the tones of that texture uh, really come out. And overall I like how that looks. Here's the before, here's after applying that texture. I think I'm going to adjust the opacity down a bit so not as much of the texture shines through. And about 75% looks good. And really that's the basics of applying texture to an image. Uh, beyond that it's really what you want to do for an advanced technique. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of those. Uh, one thing that you can use with textures are the adjustment layers that are built into Photoshop and I'm going to go down to the bottom of my layers palette and add a hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'll select hue saturation here and the layers palette will come up here and I'll have options for hue, saturation, and lightness and those if I were to move the sliders now they will globally change how the image looks. So move the lightness slider, it changes from lighter to darker, but I, I don't want this to affect the entire image. So what I want to do is link it to the texture so it only affects that texture layer. So I'm going to make sure my hue saturation layer is selected here, which it is, and that it's above my texture layer, the event layer there. And I'm going to hit Control alt g and that will group it with the layer. So now when I move the sliders, it will only affect the texture itself and not the other layer, which is the image. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the lightness down a bit. I want a slightly darker feel. And I'm going to adjust the hue. And this is going to change the overall coloration of the texture layer. And you can see it can make a very radical difference in the feel of your image as you slide through there. And I sort of like this one with these cooler tones here. I'd also like to bump the saturation up a bit in this layer to just give it a more saturated overall feel and that really brings the reds out in the flower as the uh, layer is really pumped up in its saturation. And here I'd like to show you actually what the layer looks like at this point and it's going to be uh, something that you may not expect. So we have that. Let me move this to 100% opacity so you can see it. That is actually the texture layer now and you would never expect to want to use a texture that looked like that on your image but in this case it uh, works very well. I'm going to set that back to 75% and we're going to show the background layer. Okay, the next technique I want to show you is how to mask some texture out of this image uh, where we don't want it. I see a little on the 
flower here that I really don't want on there. And there's there's many ways to this, but I'm going to show you a technique that will allow you to keep the tones that are created by the texture, but get rid of the texture itself. So here I have a completely empty image uh, with no texture on it that's just filled with a solid color. It can be any solid color that you choose. And I'm going to come over here to my tools palette and select the healing brush tool. I'll go to the middle of the image and I will alt click to define a source point here. And that's going to sample a texture free uh, portion of the image and use that uh, to heal. Uh, the texture layer on this image. So I'll come back over to the image itself and I'll go to paint onto my variation layer here. Now as I paint it uh, notices that I placed the layer there as a smart object. It asks me if I want to rasterize it and I do so I'll click OK. And now I'll paint out the texture. I'm going to uh, just paint here and you can see the outline of where it is. Just paint anywhere you'd like to remove that texture from the image. And I'm doing this a little roughly for the time being, uh, but actually overall it's going to turn out pretty well. Okay. We'll let that process. All right, and that has removed some of the texture. You get these stems here. And really, that's good enough for our purposes. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I have textures available uh, both for free and for purchase at www.joelolives.com. Again, that's www dot j o e l o l i v e s dot com. Thank you for watching.